Hey guys, I'm Scott Poley. I'm a session guitarist, pedal steel player. I also produce and write music, and it is nearly Christmas, almost everybody's favorite time of the year. But enough of that, we're gonna go through the best 10 gift ideas for the guitarist in your life this Christmas. These are all stocking fillers, so kind of budget-friendly stuff. These last two years with the pandemic have been really rough on musicians and people generally all around the world. So I wanna bring you some gift ideas that are budget-friendly, but also really pro-quality items that are suitable for everyone from beginners to super professional musicians, touring pros and studio musicians. So without further ado, let's start with number one, and it is a snark tuner. I have one on my Martin right here, this is it. So this little tuner, it's just a clip-on tuner, super simple, it's got this kind of non-slip rubbery outer, and. I use these, I've got probably about five of them on different instruments, acoustic instruments specifically. Now I'm gonna turn these blanking lights off before they actually drive us all insane. But there we go, got a little bit of Christmas. There we go. Right, anyway, Snark Tuners, really good quality. I went into Groove Guitars in Nashville years ago expecting to spend a fortune on a clip-on tuner and they said, actually, the Snark Tuners are as good as anything. And I quite agree with them. This one is the SN5. Brilliant, you know, use them on everything. They're great, they just clip onto the headstock of your guitar, bass, or you know, ukulele, mandolin, whatever you wanna do, they're great. My good friends at Sound Effects Music have also recommended to me the new PRS tuner, which is a rechargeable clip-on tuner. It's a really nice looking thing, it's, it's, it's a beautiful new product. Slightly more expensive than the Snark, but apparently they're really good. I've not tried one yet, but it's nice that they're rechargeable, don't have to use batteries, so yeah. Highly recommend both of those, but particularly the Snarks. I, I love them, they're great. Guitar straps are a really great gift idea for guitarists because they're personal, you can put them on different guitars, you can choose a design that you really like. I'm gonna recommend two manufacturers that I really believe in. They're both UK made, but they will both be able to ship to you in time for Christmas if you order soon. So the first brand is the one that I'm wearing on this vintage Harmony Rocket guitar that I just love, this is an amazing guitar, video coming soon on this, but um, this is an Ur Guitars strap. They make these beautiful vintage style straps using recycled materials, like old seat belt materials and these really cool kind of vintage style patterns. They've got loads of different types. I think I've, I've got two of these, but this one was actually bought for me by my partner. It's personalized and has my name on it just there, which is a lovely touch. But yeah, they're really great. Super versatile, really built well, highly recommend them. They're called Air Straps. The second manufacturer that I really rate are Pine Grove Straps, also built in the UK. They're good friends of mine. They make great quality guitar straps. I've got them on my Whitfield Telecaster, on my Collings, and a couple of other instruments, and I've bought them as gifts as well for different people. They're, they're just great. You can choose all sorts of different styles different designs, different colors, different thicknesses. They offer padding within the straps if you have a bad shoulder like I do. Um, they will also personalize straps for you if you're interested in that service. So I highly recommend them. Pine Grove Leather, go and check them out. Now while I'm talking about Pine Grove, I've not been endorsed or paid to say this or anything. I just think this is great. Pine Grove have got this new thing called a guitar gear wallet. And it is essentially a wallet, but for all your guitar bits that you might need on a gig. So spare set of strings, capo, you know, uh, string winder, all, all your bits that you might need all fit into these really cool new little wallets. Super budget friendly, great gift idea. They're available in brown or black leather, and I think they can personalize them as well. They're a great Christmas gift idea. I'll be getting one for myself. They're, they're brilliant. If the guitar player in your life is interested in learning slide guitar, then I can recommend two different types of slide. The first one would be the mag slide. Now I've got a video all about mag slides because I love these things. They're really great. Tom and the guys over there are a fantastic company out of the States. They make these really light quality slides. They're made of a magnesium alloy. Like I said, there's a video. I'm gonna link it in the top right hand corner for you right now with loads of detail on these. They come in a little box. They look a lot newer than this one because this one's been on tour with me. And the slide fits in. They come with like a little bag to put the slide in. They're a super lightweight slide and they sound great and they work really well on all sorts of different instruments. 
You don't need a massive action or anything to play slide. These are the everyday slide for me. They travel in my gig bags. I've got one on tour. They've also got a couple of different colors. So there's this is the standard one, but they've got um, they've got a black one, which looks great. And they also have the Aurora, which is like a um, changing color one that looks really fantastic. I use that one on tour because it's a bit more bling than this one. But yeah, Mag Slide, go and check them out. They also now have, um, this is kind of the standard or original one that fits on your ring finger. If you play slide on your ring finger like I do or Derek Trucks does, a lot of people play slide on their pinky finger and these are a little bit too big so they now have the pinky slide. That's kind of a newer thing for them. So go and check them out. They've also got a couple of signature slides for Tyler Bryant and Johnny Highland and all those things. So anyway, go and check them out, Mag Slide. The other company that I would really rate, and um, they make some beautiful slides, are Diamond Bottlenecks in the UK. My friend Joe Topping introduced me to these, and they're sensational. Everyone from Derek Trucks to Taj Mahal to Robbie McIntosh, one of my favorite slide players use these beautiful handmade glass slides. They're made near Birmingham in the UK and they're just sensational. I have a couple of different ones. There's a Mark Knopfler signature one which has little bits of gold in there that was a, a present from my partner. Uh, this is, uh, they're just beautiful. They sound incredible. They make loads of different colors, different sizes, and they can personalize them to your needs. So go and check them out and tell them Scott sent you. We're gonna talk about capos because capos are an essential part of playing guitar. Um, the capo I'm gonna to recommend to you, I've got one here that I've just been using for a session, is a Shub capo. These are the most budget friendly, quality professional capos that I would recommend. Don't buy anything else, these are all you need. Trust me on this one. The only thing I would recommend is you get the model that's actually slightly better than this one. This has this little pointed thing on, on, on the adjuster here. I would recommend the one with the roller, just because it's an, a, a better mechanism and it's, it's less friction and stuff. I mean, these are fine, but the ones with the roller, like on this link, are, are really fantastic. So, shove capos, they just go over your guitar, you close them down, you can adjust to the neck size, and they crimp, and that's it. These are the ones I use on tour, they're brilliant. So go and check out Shub Capos for sure. Next up, another really great gift idea is Strap Locks. Now I'm gonna show you, I actually have them fitted on this guitar. The ones I recommend are Jim Dunlop Strap Locks. I've used these for years, I have them on nearly all of my guitars. They're brilliant. So the Jim Dunlop Strap Locks, you actually, you replace the little strap button on your guitar. These are actually the flush mounted ones. I have other ones on my other guitars, but all that happens is you fix a little bit onto the strap and you use a circlip. I would recommend you get a pair of circlip pliers to do this, but you can get them easily on eBay or at a hardware store. And all you do is you push the little button down on there and they just slot into your guitar. And then your guitar is nice and secure. They're brilliant. They're not super expensive. They're about 15 pounds a set here in the UK, but arguably what's the price of not dropping your guitar? I've tried the plastic ones. Uh, they work, they're fine, but these are designed to last a lifetime. Recommend them highly, go and check them out. If you're getting value out of this video, I would love it if you consider liking the video, subscribing to this channel, and also ring the bell icon. It will let you know when I release new videos, which I do every single week. Now moving on to number six, we're gonna talk about guitar stands, specifically Hercules guitar stands. I use these things all the time on stage, in the studio, use them on tour, they're great. They have this really cool feature that allows you to hook your guitar straight onto the stand. And they're just really great pieces of machinery. They make great floor stands like this. They also make great wall stands, so if you wanna hang your guitar on the wall, Hercules are the brand to go for. Number seven, I'm gonna recommend that you buy a string winder for the guitar player in your life, and specifically a Planet Waves string winder with a string cutter and a bridge pin puller all built into one low cost, really good quality piece of kit. They have a great string winder, so when you come to change strings, they're fast, it allows you to speed up your process. They've got a good string cutter on them, so again, when you're changing strings and wanna cut your strings, you don't have to bring a second pair of pliers or anything out. And also, if you have an acoustic guitar, like this one, and you wanna pull the bridge pins out, you can also use 
the string winder to just go in and it will grab the string, uh, grab the bridge pin, sorry, and pull it up. Really great piece of kit. You know, I think they're nine pounds on Amazon at the moment. I mean, nine pounds, brilliant. Perfect gift idea for the guitar player in your life. Now, while we're talking about bridge pins, my good friend Adam at FU Tone makes the bridge pins that I use on my touring guitars. I actually need to get a set for my Martin, so Adam, expect an email from me very soon. But he makes these great quality, FU Tone is the company, brass or titanium bridge pins for acoustic guitars. All they do is they replace the standard ones on your acoustic guitar and they just improve the sound quality. I can't tell you how much it may, has made a difference to my touring guitars. I have two acoustic guitars on the road with me that's in a rig rundown video. I'll link that in the top right hand corner now. But yeah, the brass ones I put in my Takamini make a whole lot of difference. There's titanium ones in my Recording King uh, Dreadnought that I use on stage too. So go to futone.com. I've linked the brass bridge pins because they're a slightly lower cost. They're about $50, so not too cheap, but they do make a whole load of difference. Can't recommend them enough and go and say hi to Adam and tell Scott who sent you. Guitar maintenance is an essential part of being a guitar player. Whether you're just a beginner and you wanna learn how to make your guitar play better or a pro guitarist on the road and something breaks on your guitar, you need to repair it quickly. So in terms of guitar tools, there's one brand that comes to mind and it's the one I use, it's called Cruise Tools. They make the Cruise Tools guitar player tech kit. Try saying that five times quickly. It's got kind of a string winder in it. It's got a little thing to rest the guitar headstock on when you're doing repairs on the road. We've got action gauges, files, all the, all the bits that you need to set up a guitar and do full setups. It's got wrenches, little screwdrivers, the whole bit. They also make a guitar multi-tool. So it's a bit like a Swiss army knife that folds out of all the specific bits that go in, you know, Allen keys that fit in Stratocaster tremolos or, you know, Telecaster bridges, or if you want to do truss rod adjustments or specific Phillips screwdriver sizes, they're all located on this little Cruise Tools mini tool. Now, Marshall, the legendary amp company, make loads of Christmas-related gift ideas, more than I realized, and we'll get to that in a minute. Number one, I would say that's the perfect gift idea, and it's, it's an old favorite, are the Marshall mini amps. They're battery powered, small amplifiers. They sound pretty good. Some guitar players have used them on records. I know the, the bass part of Song 2 by Blur apparently has a Marshall Mini amp on there used as like a fuzz. They've got a distortion setting and a clean setting, but they're great kind of low powered little amplifiers that you can carry around the house. You can even hook them onto your belt. Not expensive, really great little gift. And they look like a little Marshall stack, brilliant. They also make, Marshall make this little thing called a rack jack, which is you can attach a jack plug to your keys. And when you come into the house, you plug the jack plug into this little mini Marshall head, which you can mount on the wall and store your keys there. Brilliant, love it. One more for my house. I'm gonna order one of those, I think, for my Christmas present. Now, Marshall also make Christmas jumpers. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? But yeah, Marshall make Christmas jumpers. They're not particularly cheap, but they make Christmas jumpers, so why not? Marshall Christmas jumpers. Finally, if you want the most ridiculous guitar player related Christmas gift, PRS make a John Mayer Silver Sky Christmas ornament. It's over 20 pounds and it's a guitar that's like a PRS Silver Sky that you can hang on your tree and it says PRS because it is an official piece of PRS merch you can hang it on your tree. That's all there is to say about that. Absolutely useless for everything else, but great if you like John Mayer and PRS Silver Skies. So that's about it, folks. I would love it, like I say, if you would like this video, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell icon, and also if you have any other recommendations for Christmas bits, leave them in the comments below. And also, I wanna wish you a very happy Christmas. Be safe, be kind to each other, and I'll catch you very soon. What about effects pedals, I hear you say? Well, I've got another video coming out tomorrow night all about effects pedals, really high quality, but budget-friendly effects pedals that you can buy for the musician in your life. Ring the bell icon on my channel or tune in tomorrow night for that video all about effects pedals. Catch you later.